Hello, 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 hey, hello, 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 everybody. Happy Thursday. I'm a little off today since Monday was a holiday, but welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl, Dominique. And again, if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. Thank you for watching. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back y'all so i just had to get on here today and talk about this because it's really just crazy to me so let me tell y'all this scenario i you know work at the mall sometimes in my sister's store and i'm up at the mall you know i just sit up there and a guy comes in and he's you know looking around and i'm like hello hello and he said, how are you doing? I said, fine. He said, you look nice. I said, thank you. You know, regular day, I'm probably looking like this or something. So he says, um, you know, do you have a man? And and I was like, you know, no. And he's like, well, well, why not? Like, what's the problem? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, you tell me what's the problem. So he was like, well, you know, I would like to get to know you or, you know, if you don't mind, can I get your number or whatever? And I was like, okay, that's fine. He was a little older than me, I could tell. Um, but he was very polite and respectful. So I gave him my phone number because I feel like a lot of people do try to talk to me. A lot of men do try to talk to me. And I feel like, you know, I do put off a lot of people like, no, I'm cool. I'm good, you know. And I kind of started thinking to myself, well, you know, how am I going to find somebody if I'm, you know, always like dismissive of people, you know, attempting to talk to me, which I mean, I'm not going to talk to everybody, but you know, if they seem nice and respectable and, you know, cool, okay. So I gave him my number. Um, he gave me my exchange numbers or whatever. Um, this was probably literally maybe a month ago and i never had heard from him or and i never had reached out to him until this morning i got a text about eight o'clock in the morning he was like good morning beautiful or something and when i woke up i responded i said hello and he's like um you know what's up with you and i'm like nothing much what's up with you and he was like you that's what's up and i'm like okay meaning Meaning, what do you mean by that? And he's like, you, I want you from head to toe. Or something about sexy, I want you from head to toe. And that just blew the whole conversation for me. Because I'm like, first of all, I'm grown and you're grown. We've both engaged in sexual activity before in our life. So, please slow down. Please slow down. Like, this be my thing about men. Y'all don't be knowing the first thing about a woman, nor do y'all care. You know what I'm saying? And I can understand sometimes if you don't really want to be in a relationship or anything with somebody, you kind of just want to have a good time when y'all together, whether that be eating, drinking, going back, you know, having sex or whatever. That's cool and that's fine. But my thing is, like, be respectable. You know, don't let that be the first conversation that you have with somebody. Like, to me, that makes me feel like, okay, that's all you want to do. You just looking for somebody to hump on, and that's not that. You know, this ain't that. Like, I done been there, I done done that. I mean, I'm, I'm not looking for that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like... That just made me think, these are reasons why I'm single, because that's the second person in, like, the last four or five months that has approached me, very nice, very respectable. One dude even asked to take me out, and, I, you know, we have scheduled a whole, we were going to go to breakfast and everything, um, but he ended up saying that night, like, well, do you mind after we go to breakfast, you know, if I could have you for dessert? And I was like, um, no. If you think that because we're about to go have a $15, $20 breakfast, that that equates to me about to have sex with you after one meal, like, come on now. Like, come on, guys. I mean, could y'all at least take a girl out for a third date before y'all try to hit on her and get romantic? You know, 
get in the bed. Like, I would at least respect you more if we hung out a couple times and I started, you know, like, obviously, if I make it to a third day with you, I'm feeling your vibe, you know, you a cool person or whatever, and it may be a chance, but, but come on, the first time, I be thinking, is it women out here who really go for that and if you do I, i'm not here to judge but i'm just saying right now that's not where i'm at you know what i'm saying i'm not a person who is thirsty or desperate to be in a relationship or i'm not a person that has to be up under a man all the time i'm content being by myself i've always been like that i've never had to be in a relationship with somebody or whatever like to feel complete or to feel like you know i didn't I, you know i just i'm just not that kind of person i'm not thirsty but to back it all the way up, I am single because um, me, me and my ex, which was my ex-husband, we have not been together for four years. We have not lived together. We have not been together. We have not anything in four years. We have completely been totally done um, because in that situation, and this is 100% honesty. I feel like the older I got, the more I started to realize things that I should have um, been looking at long ago. You know what I'm saying? You know how we see red flags or, or we see things, but, but we think that we could make it better. As women, we feel like we can make somebody be a better person. And, and that's just totally not true. Like a person is who they are and they're not going to be anything different unless they want different for themselves. So I felt like as I got older, those things that mattered to me were really important in a relationship and there was no way to overlook those things. And I feel like there were certain things that I wanted um, that he just didn't want. You know, I believe in elevation. I believe that there's always room to improve. There's always room to grow. Um, I believe that, yes, times are hard. Everybody goes through tough times. But, um, you know, there are ways around it. There's things that you can do to make the situation better. And I just feel like, you know, he wasn't in that type of mind frame you know he's kind of like this is how it is it is what it is type deal and that just wasn't me and i just it, it took me a while to kind of learn that um and then i just realized that yeah this situation is not for me and um i totally felt like it was definitely the right move because i've been so much better and done so much personally for myself you know that i don't know if i actually would have did if i was still in that situation you know i went to college i got my associates and then i just finished my bachelor's um i'm working on two business ventures um, and, and I have a lot of other things in the mix and in the work right now that I just don't feel like I would have been able to accomplish. And um, that's okay because you live and you learn. Um, has it been easy? No, it has not been easy. This has definitely been a horrible um, experience, a horrible divorce process for me. Um, but at the end of the day, I feel like I don't have anything to be upset about, angry about. Like, I bought a house and I get on my couch every night and I sit there and I watch TV and I, my kids are in their perspective places and they're enjoying their self and I think to myself like this is this is what it is like I love this I love this peace of mind I love this space I just love this place that I'm in right now and I don't know if I ever would have been in this such a good place in my life um had I not decided to state the facts you know we, we a lot of times as women we try to cover up the facts and what's right in front of us about a person and we've all done it I feel like but it's just about growing and elevating and being who you are so now 
this new space that I'm in, like trying to meet new people is really tough for me. Cause I'm like, y'all don't want to take no woman out. Y'all don't ask people out on dates. You know, I, I feel like I'm not a hard person to please. Like, come on, let's go get some chicken wings, you know, or, oh yeah, I let's go to a nice place or, oh, you know, food truck Thursdays downtown. Yeah, let's go to, you know, pull up in a food truck, mass ad, like, it's so many options and so many things that you could do with a person to get to know them and enjoy their time um, rather than trying to come over to their house all the time. And it's just, that's just basically what it all boils down to. That's all. Or they got other situations going on that they don't really want to tell you about. And, you know, I feel like what happened to being honest and upfront with people? Like, let me know what, what situation you got going on so I know what I'm getting myself into. Oh, you got a, gr a girl um, that you, another girl you're courting, you claim it's not your girlfriend, you say you, you dating around. Okay, that's cool. I, we can hang out sometimes. You know, I, I, I got a lot going on right now. I don't have a lot of time to dedicate solely to one person anyway. But it really be, y'all really be having a lot going on. Like, y'all be lying having whole situations, families, like ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just thinking as I'm getting ready to turn 35 next month, like, is this what it boils down to? Like, is this it? I've never been the type of person to be hopeless, to feel like, you know, he's not out there. But every day I be like, y'all might be proving me wrong. But anyways, this is just my thoughts and opinions on why I'm personally single these days. But I'll have more thoughts and opinions to come because it was a couple other people that wanted to get some input. So I'm going to get some couple different perspectives about, you know, what what's it like in other people's world out here. But anyways, yeah, I just had to throw it on y'all real quick because it just came to light today. And I was just like really baffled. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and connect with me. I'll put my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook down in the comments below. Please comment and let me know what y'all think. I cannot wait to interact with y'all and see how y'all feel. Um, thank you for watching as always. Have a good day.